This short video is a learning tool created to assist taxpayers with filing and paying their Westminster sales and use tax returns online. The Fast Filing Utility is available to licensed taxpayers filing monthly, quarterly, or annually. This video will walk you through the steps of inputting your business account information, entering the pertinent sales and purchase data, as well as remitting payment to the city if taxes are due. Let's get started. Before accessing the system, gather your Westminster tax account number, your periodic sale and purchase figures, and, if taxes are due, your banking information. The FAST filing system is accessed from the City of Westminster's homepage, www.cityofwestminster.us. From the homepage, move your mouse and hover over the word Business in the brown ribbon until a drop-down menu appears. At the bottom of this menu is a link to the Tax and License Toolbox. Click this link. Click on the Fast Filing link on the left navigation bar to access the system. From here, click the image to begin filing your return. After accessing the online filing system, you must first enter your business account number. This number is your seven-digit City of Westminster issued license number. Do not enter your FEIN or Colorado tax account number. Note that only current returns may be filed electronically. If the due date for your return is passed, you will need to complete a paper return and mail it to the Tax Division. The link to a PDF form is available here for your use. After entering your account number, click the Continue button to proceed to the next step. Select a filing option by determining whether or not you will owe any tax. If you have a tax liability, select the File and Pay Electronically option by clicking on the bubble to the left. If you have no tax liability, please select the Zero option by clicking on the related bubble. After making the appropriate selection, click on Please Select an Option button to move to the next screen. The Filing Period page provides the user with some account-specific information including the last return filed and the period that you will be filing during this session. If any of the information does not comport with your records, contact the DEX division. Further, this page informs the user that electronic payments are made via ACH debit and offers another notice that only current returns can be filed electronically. Past due returns should be completed using the PDF form provided and must be mailed to the tax division. Taxpayers who do not want to pay taxes due by ACH debit must also file a paper return. If everything is correct, click the Enter Tax Return button to continue. On the return page, you will enter your figures into the online return. Notice that there are three links at the top of the window offering instructions in three different formats. You can click these at any time and a new window will open that provides detailed information on each line item. This page includes only those lines requiring taxpayer input. Calculated lines are displayed on the next page based on your entries here. The City requires taxpayers to report gross sales and itemize allowable deductions. Enter your company's gross sales on line 1. Enter numbers in dollars and cents. Do not use commas or dollar signs. Enter deductions from gross sales, such as non-taxable service sales, on lines 3A through 3L. If your firm collected tax in excess of the amount due, enter the excess amount on line 6. You may skip lines for which you have no amounts to report. Please be sure to review your purchases of supplies and equipment and report any amounts subject to use tax on line 10. Even businesses that do not make taxable sales may have a use tax liability. The total amount subject to tax can be entered on line 10, or purchases can be detailed on Schedule B below. This schedule is not mandatory. However, it facilitates calculating and reporting specific transactions that are being reported for use tax. When you have completed entering your sales, deductions, and any purchases subject to use tax, click on the Calculate All Forms button. If there was an error in any of the entry or you wish to start over, you may use the Clear All Forms button. Once you have clicked the Calculate All Forms button, your return will be calculated based upon your inputs. 
if your inputs result in a tax liability, you will receive an error message. You can use your browser's back button to correct any errors. If taxes are due, click the Start Again link to select File a Return and Pay Electronically option. Review the information on the return for accuracy and completeness, and use your browser's back button if you need to make corrections. If all the information is correct, enter your email address to receive a confirmation receipt. Press the Submit Return button to complete your filing. A printable version of the filed return will be displayed.